Virginia Tech in full control tonight in Pittsburgh. They have sealed the dual win as we head to our final match of the night. 174, number two in the country. Virginia Tech saving the best for last. Makai Lewis, the three-time All-American, taking on Grant McKay, the freshman for Pittsburgh. Well, you mentioned a little bit earlier at uh, 157, sometimes you get uh, a wrestler thrown in and ranking wrestling a top five top ten wrestler and here it is for Grant McKay getting a guy who's won an NCAA title McKay a very talented uh, freshman so see how he can uh, do here against Lewis and I like he was coming right after him taking the action to him McKay Lewis 117 career wins in his time at Virginia Tech. He's been perfect this year, 11-0. Coming off two Tech Fall victories last weekend when the Hokies hosted Duke and George Mason. Those were the final home duels of the long career for Makai Lewis. Worth noting, uh, Luca Augustine found a little bit of an injury, so just uh, good to get him some rest as Lewis in on a single here. But Grant McKay was actually up a weight. He's able to wrestle down at 165, but uh, comes up here to 174 to wrestle in this one. So not only are you wrestling a guy who's you know, top, well, number two overall at the weight, but you're also doing it at a weight class above where you're typically at. Yeah, we heard from Holden Heller earlier this season. He was asked about... Any guys on the team, maybe younger guys, that you might look up a year or two from now and say, hey, that guy has really become a staple. And Graham McKay was one of the guys Holden mentioned, said keep an eye on him a lot better, Holden said, than he was as a true freshman. So McKay with a lot of potential in a tough situation here tonight against Lewis. But, Greg, a guy you like a lot for the future in the Panthers. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, came in with a, a strong class of individuals that – you know, kind of building on that premise that, you know, Keith Gavin's talked about where, hey, they year one, they're going to take their lumps, but, uh, and then the red shirt, and then year two, they'll get a little better, and then you'll start to see some things really blossom in year three and year four, and Grant McKay's another one of those guys, you know, can't look at the score of this one uh, because Lewis is that good, but, you know, McKay coming up a weight class and, and trying to battle. I mean, I just liked how he came out and tried to compete early on against Lewis. Mentioned maybe some memories coming back for Makai Lewis in Pittsburgh. He won the national championship right down the road at PPG Paints Arena five years ago. Well, that's a year he burst onto the scene, too. I believe it was an eight or nine seed going into yeah. the tournament. Uh, you know, everybody was looking at, you know, okay, if it's Central Joseph, is he going to win a, a title? Another title is, you know, is this Ma Alex Marinelli's year? And he knocks off Marinelli. You know, he gets in and beats, beats Joseph in the final. Just put himself on the map. If you said he was the number eight seed, had to take down the one, the four, and the two en route to the national title in the 165 division. Such an impressive run from Lewis and an impressive start from the veteran here tonight. Yeah, he's just uh, taking advantage of opportunities whenever they're, they present themselves and he gets after it on his own shots and he's just so quick and strong. Question is for him to get his second title, he's gonna have to beat Carter Starachi. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's uh, you know, arguably one of the best in the nation regardless of weight. But Lewis is right up there in that mix. I mean, he is... Uh, He's a tough customer. It gives you the sense, you talk about that run from 2019. If a guy can do that, you get the feeling that a national title again this year is certainly within reach for him. Yeah, and you even look at the rankings there. Shane Griffith, a guy who's won a national title as well. So you got three guys that are national champions of this weight class. Sirachi's just so difficult to beat, but here's a technical fall, and Lewis does what he needed to do. So Makai Lewis, dominant as always for Virginia Tech, and he puts the icing on the cake. A 